What's up, everybody? I'm DangerLander1K here on Twitch. Uh, you know me, or you don't. If you don't, um, I stream Back for Blood and other games. I'm a variety caster, uh, primarily on console, Xbox, and, and PlayStation. And, uh, and um, I have been playing Back for Blood since, uh, since early access. Anyway, I'm here to talk about uh, the November 2021 update. Let's just go ahead and read through some of it because, um, I don't know, I wanted to provide my reactions for those of the people in my community, anybody who drops by in the, in, in, presently or in the near future. Give you guys just about um, what it appears to be talking about. I am not a deep diver. I don't know the math. I, I, that's not my approach with the game. I kind of like take a, a look at like conceptual, like like broad conceptual strategies and sort of mindset behind um, you know going into certain maps and like like big overarching approaches to the game. Uh, that still allow a lot of room for creativity and innovation upon the individual gamer. Because I don't want to exactly tell people how to play. Just provide my experiences and hope that it helps. But um, but there are things here which are like really bizarre to me, right? So the first one is uh, developer update. We wanted to highlight the following bug fix with some additional information. Fix some issues related to specials spawning. We found an issue where specials would frequently duplicate their spawn cards compounding, compounding as players progress through the levels. This would often result in an unfair, <laughs> that was unfair, an unfair amount of specials overwhelming cleaner teams was it unfair the whole time was it was it, were we actually clawing our way through an unfair experience no gasp in future patches we're going to continue to dig into spawning issues to help further smooth out the experience so they may still exist i'm mad i'm mad the November 2021 update brings quality of life updates along with the balance of updates for campaign and swarm PvP. I have not played the PvP, so I won't be covering them here. I may in the future, so I'm not a, I'm not really interested there. But um, I will go specifically to the campaign updates. No. Campaign updates generally seem to be like just some tweaks and fixes that seem to make the game work more as intended um, and that's not that big of a deal but the card updates are of the big concern okay so specifically the the card updates here and the breaker and ogre look basically the boss updates here okay Everything else you can read on your own and, and decide how you feel. But look. Um, batter up. Melee damage adjusted down 10%. Brazen. Stamina efficiency adjusted to 20%. Down 10%. Um, breakout. That allows you to break out from shit. Decre uh, decrease use time to 3 seconds from 4 seconds. That's a buff. Face your fears adjusted to temporary health from 3 temporary health. Uh, fresh bandage okay that's a different thing ignore the pain now restores health instead of providing temporary health there's another card called numb that i really i like to tie those two things together because the temporary health gives me 15 percent damage uh uh reduction and and so having more temporary health is better like i rely on that combination but that may change we'll see how it plays out mean drunk damage adjusted down 15 percent meth head uh, stamina efficiency adjusted down 10%. Money Grubbers doesn't grant as much money. Spiky Bits down 5%. True Grit is improved. And then overall, the Breaker has been buffed and the Ogre has been buffed some. It 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 already, I mean, depending on what difficulty you're on, but in Nightmare. Uh, the Ogre is a beefcake and the Breaker has always been a beefcake. Um doable but now it looks like they're they're gonna try to make him a little bit more intense and a little bit more threatening his moves are gonna come faster um his weak spot damage is not gonna is not gonna take as uh uh as much damage and so i think he's gonna be made a little bit more threatening i honestly i didn't really think about the breaker that much he seemed predictable slow and that was in the concern the ogre has a lot even even destroying his um you know his his vulnerable spots. You know he could still he could still uh, 
pack quite a punch, stay up for a while. He, he could be a, a difficult. They're also fixing some of the bugs of both the ogre and the hag. So it makes it so that they're not as um, glitchable and not that I don't think there's any way to control that. It's just that sometimes you would kite them around a bit and then they would get stuck on something and that would allow you to survive. I think they're fixing them to make them work as intended. So they're, uh, so the brig is going to be more dangerous. The ogre is going to be more durable. Um, and uh, um, they're, they're adding some little fixes like, uh, for example, when you get caught up by a, a crusher, uh, you're going to have immunity to friendly fire and stuff. Um, but the main issue here is just the, the nerf to melee builds. Now, I'm not going to get angry or crazy or whatever. At first, I was like, oh, my, my, my thinking is, is that the developers are trying to bring this closer in line with what their initial vision of the game was. Right now, the way that it's been played is, um, is, is that the melee is the one, I feel like melee and like in some cases a pure range DPS, somebody gets their deck right, are like these two pillars. There's flexibility around them. I feel like maybe support is like played a certain way, um, but melee is like this, um, is like this, this spine of the team. You know, if played right, and if the if the team positions themselves around melee in such a way, once that car, once that deck is is stacked right, then that becomes a real sound strategy. It's a it's a tool. It's something you can depend on. You know, melee getting in front of shit. As long as they've stacked their cards right at a certain point, man, there's like a lot of hope surrounding someone that can get up in front of the horde, let alone tall boys, and deal with them effectively. What this seems to be doing is putting that in question. It makes it so like, you can't just trust that your melee in the corner is just gonna make that. Uh, you, you you know, they're, they're, they're chipping away at how a lot of these cards work together in tandem. And and it, it may, if, if, if it's enough to weaken the formula, of a melee that you can sort of trust to like hold that shit down, then um, that could create a chain reaction that could drastically change the way that we all play. I don't know yet until I get in there and I try it out. All I'm gonna say is don't freak out, don't call it, get in there and test it and test it and test it because I think that this kind of news is the kind of thing that's gonna make people go, ah, ah, don't no 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 let's not let's not jump to conclusions okay at the end of the day we all knew this was first of all it's tough it's a tough game if you guys are playing a nightmare difficulty it's tough you know they're coming up with another difficulty level how the fuck unless it's the interim difficulty level that we all kind of needed between like recruit and veteran or maybe veteran and nightmare but another difficulty level holy shit um but uh it was a it was always going to be a desperate affair I I just think the only unfortunate thing about the way in which this was done without enough sort of countering it, like like nerfing melee but buffing ranged or buffing some other cards, you know, in 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 that for different builds and stuff like that. The only reason why I say that is because I feel like it's it's desperate, even with them being as strong as they are. Because it's just one part portion of the team and the team still falls apart. A lot of the time you know and that and that's fine it comes down to gameplay but now you're taking something that we at least have begun to get used to the way that certain melee stacks can really benefit the team and it's not from the beginning like when you in nightmare difficulty those first few levels you still have to work very hard to survive until those cards start to compound and work together um, so now you're you're taking away that mid game and that late game kind of like revenge build you know like oh i got my shit together now let's fucking crush this and finish out this act you can't i, I don't know if it, it feels like all these things together are to or to weaken that position for what impact what is it that they were responding to did they feel it was just too overpowered did they feel it was creating too much of a safe haven for for the rest of the team um and is this balanced against nightmare difficulty these changes are they looking at nightmare difficulty because not a lot of people are in nightmare difficulty and not a lot of people are completing it we're seeing these i believe a very small portion of the community creating videos and maybe playing online together with their buddies but if you look at just like xbox right 0.01 percent 0.02 percent these are the percentages of people that are getting through nightmare difficulty that's where all of this stuff is tested to the limit and i don't think we have enough information to know for a fact that any kind of nerfs are warranted yet because people are still playing a very desperate game so 
So I just have questions. I just, I really wish that I could have been a fly on the wall to understand why this happened. And I don't think we're getting that because the data coming out from, you know, Nightmare Difficulty, I think is still very small, except for these rare occasions where you have these kind of like, you know, really serious people, you know, sticking around and, and fighting through it. You know, people that are playing like nonstop and, 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 uh, and what have you. Now, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe there's a bigger portion of the community, perhaps on PC that is getting through and maybe that's their, um, their test pool. But uh, given crossplay, I think you would have to look at the whole pool. And I don't, I don't see console players uh, with the same game getting, getting the same level of progress. I mean, the controller and, the, you know, and how quickly you can respond to things. I do think that there's a, even if it's marginal, I do think that there's a significant difference where these kind of percentages might be really harmful. But um, they did kind of pump this out kind of quickly. And my guess is that these are things that they can go back and forth with and they'll be, they'll be finding, they'll be you know, yo-yoing between, you know, different things as they get closer and closer to an ideal. So, uh, so on some level it's exciting because I just want to see how it feels. I just want to see how it plays out. And they might just be doing that to incentivize. Maybe, maybe they have stats that show that there's like an above average amount of people that are playing as melee rather than picking other classes. I don't know. But, um, but that's of interest. Is there anything else here that kind of like, um, Mm, the bat movement speed was increased. Um, bats have to do 50% more damage to stumble the ridden. That was weird. I was always wondering, axe movement speed is increased. Axe damage is reduced 15 points. Axe stumble damage scale reduced to 0 0.5 from 1. Hatchet damage was reduced 10 points. Hatchet stumble damage scale reduced Machete movement speed increase. So, so the weapons have become faster, but they've overall become weaker. I wonder how that's going to work. I wonder how that's going to work. Yeah, this, all of this is like, it just screams like melee nerf, you know? Um, so as somebody who has been taking on my first challenge of nightmare progression with Holly, uh, I'm going to feel this pretty squarely in the chest as, as, as soon as tomorrow. And I'm very curious about this. Anyway, um, like I said, for those of us who have been enjoying the game, um, be, uh, we, we, the, 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 the call is still for us to be patient, to learn, to adjust, and uh, none of this stops us from practicing our, uh, our fundamentals in terms of surviving in this game and working together as a team. So, um, you know, hopefully it all makes sense within a day or two and it doesn't feel too painful. I just, I can't help but feel a sense of dread, like a, like a shadow looming over my, my, next, uh, my next gameplay sessions, which were desperate enough to begin with. And, um, and so, so, so that's a thing. But it's nice that they're on top of things. It's nice that they're working on things. It's nice that they're tweaking things, that they are apparently using the feedback to, to make changes. And as long as they stay responsive, I'm sure we'll find a, a good place in the middle where it needs to be you know, for everybody to have a good time. All right, uh, that's, that's that. And then uh, back before that, um, uh, I, yeah, and, and, then, and then this is bizarre, this, um, the unfair amount of specials overwhelming cleaner teams. If that gets fixed, and despite the reduction in the melee build, uh, what we find is that we have a more balanced or more fair, uh, uh, you know, occurrence of specials spawning. Then maybe the whole game opens up. You know, maybe this maybe this adjustment here is why that will be okay. You know, maybe maybe we will actually be able to take bigger bites out of nightmare difficulty as a community uh regardless of the people who like to run off who are not skilled speed runners you know just that guy um then uh then it's okay then it's okay because uh at the end of the day it'll just mean that we can actually effectively build good practices and good habits around the 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 more 
manageable amount of specials that spawn, reaffirming good gameplay, and not just constantly having the best of the gameplay that we've learned through recruit and veteran difficulty absolutely going to shit because Nightmare just decided to vomit hell on our uh, faces. Right. So anyway, I, I remain optimistic because I don't want to feel like I wasted my damn time. And uh, with that said, I will see you guys out there. Uh, if you've watched and enjoyed, thank you so much. Twitch.tv slash DangerLander1K. Um, good luck and happy hunting. Peace out.